Okay, so let's do the Khan Academy real review quick. There's like 14 questions here, so let's let's move along. Okay, a particle moves along the x-axis. What's a particle's acceleration at time equals one? If this is position, how do you find the velocity? So it's the first derivative to find the velocity. So 4t minus 3. Second derivative is the acceleration, which is 4, so it's just 4. Okay. Radius increasing at 3, and the height is decreasing at 4. At a certain instance, the radius is 8, and the height is 10. So if you have a derivative, then that's an increasing or decreasing. So height is decreasing at 4, so it's this one. Radius, and it's the first derivative, so radius is increasing at 3. Volume, it doesn't give you the volume, so that's not given. This function, we have to solve for. What's the first derivative of 1 over y? Well, that's y to the negative first. y to the negative first equals 8 minus x. So this is negative 1, y to the negative second, dy dt equals, first derivative of 8 is nothing, negative x is negative 1, dx dt. Okay, so let's start filling in for what we know. dy dt is negative 0.5. We have a negative 1 out front. We have a y squared down here equals negative dx dt. Okay. And y is 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 squared is 0 0.04. So if you take this times this, divided by this, I don't know what 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.04 is. Any help, anybody? Fifty divided by four is twelve point two five. So this should be like twelve point two five, and then it's a negative twelve point five. Okay, the radius of a sphere is decreasing at a rate of one meter per hour. So dr dt is a negative one. At a certain instant, the radius is four. Find the rate of change of the volume of the sphere. Volume of the sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. Do the math, dv dt equals four pi r squared dr dt. The RDT, we are told, is negative 1. At a certain instant, the radius is 4. So at a certain instant, the radius is 4 squared. And this is 4 times pi. So this is negative 64 pi, if you do the math. Max wrote an algorithm. So the first derivative of this is 1.6 over 0 0.9 n times 0 0.9, because the first derivative of this is 1 over this times the first derivative of the inside. Well, the 0.9 is canceled, so it's 1.6 over n. Now, if n is 10, it's 1.6 over 10, which is 0 0.16. So it's 0 0.16 steps per term. Twenty uh, 39 meter ladder is sliding down a vertical wall. So the distance between the bottom of the ladder and the wall is increasing at 10 meters per second. 
At a certain instant, the bottom of the ladder is 36 meters from the wall. 39 squared minus 36 squared. I need help on that. 39 squared minus 36 squared. Fifteen. So C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So two C D C D T equals two A D A D T plus two B D B D B. So D C D T is zero. So two times thirty nine times zero, because it's not changing in length, equals. If the bottom is A, 2 times 36 times 10 plus 2 times 15 times dB dt. 2 times 36 times 10 is 0 equals 720 plus 30 dB dt. Negative 720 over 30 is dB dt. So it's like negative 24. Here is L'Hopital's rule. So negative 2x over the cosine or the sine of pi over 2x times the first derivative of the inside, which is pi over 2. So if you stick in a 3, you get negative 6 over... Sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1 times pi over 2. So if you multiply by, well, a negative over negative is a positive. If you multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So if you multiply by 2 over pi and 2 over pi, you get 12 over pi. Oop. Okay. Do we have a mistake here somewhere? The sine of 3 pi over 2 should be a negative 1. The top is negative 2x. So that's a negative. Hmm. 12 over pi makes sense. Sine of 3 because it's a sine. Oh, it's negative. Because cosine to sine is negative. So there we go. So it's a negative of negative. Which then makes the bottom negative in the end. Okay. This one. The first, the slope is negative 4. If we stick negative 4 into here, we get 16 minus 1, which is 15. 15 plus a negative 4 is 11. Um, for this one, a person stands 18 meters away, the car driving away from the intersection at 3. So it's going this way at 3 meters per second. And then the sight line. So we're talking about angles. This is the only one with an angle, the tangent. Okay, Tangent is opposite over adjacent. When you talk about angles, it has to be that one. If it's distance, it's Pythagorean theorem. The value of the derivative at 8 is equal to negative 0.5. So, due to the tide, the water level rises and falls at Buzzards Bay. D is the depth of the water. So, at time equals 8, the water is going down at a rate of 0.5 meters per hour. The area of a circle is increasing at that, and we're to want the circumference, so this is the advanced one. So area equals pi r squared. So at a certain instance, the area is 36, so 36 equals pi r squared. 36 pi equals pi r squared, so r equals 6. So dA dt equals 2 pi r dr dt. And we want to figure out what dr dt is. So we stick in 6 for the r. And 
the area of a circle is increasing at 8 pi. So the pi's cancel. This is 12, so 8 twelfths equals dr dt, which is 2 thirds. Okay, and then what's the change in circumference? Well, circumference equals 2 pi r. So the dc dt equals 2 pi dr dt. And since this is 2 thirds times 2 pi, you get 4 thirds pi. <coughs> Square prism. Ray of the chase and shows the surface area. Surface area of a square base prism is the area of the base, which is two times the side squared. There's two bases, the top and the bottom, plus there's four sides. So four times the length of the bottom times the height. So the side times the height. So there's four of these and then two of these. All right, so DSA over DT would equal 4s ds dt plus 4s dh dt plus h times 4 ds dt. So dsa dt equals 4. At a certain instance, the, base, the side is 4. The change of the side is a negative 7. 4 times 4, the change of the height is a positive 10, plus 9 times 4 times the change in the side is a negative 7. You got to do the math. This is, I don't know, 28 times 4, which is 56 times 2, which is 108, so negative 108, plus 160, minus, um, ugh, whoa. 36 times 7, or 63 times 4, which is 126 times 2, which is 252. 250 what? That's not 259. 36 times 7. Okay. So, this is... 52 minus 250, so like two, 204, negative. Okay. Um, velocity versus time. So this is slowing down, but it's moving forward because its velocity is positive. This is slowing down but its velocity is still positive, so it's moving forward. This one's moving backwards. This one's moving backwards because it's a negative velocity. Um, that one is L'Hopital's rule. Do the derivatives twice, and you'll get zero. And that's it. Okay, good enough. All right, time to help you with all your stuff.